Hi, my name is Ned, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Caspio to SharpSpring. So why would you want to connect these two systems together? Well, let's say that you use Caspio's no-code platform to create a membership directory application, and you want to use SharpSpring to do an email campaign to all of your new and existing members. Somehow, we need to have these two systems communicate together. So when a new member creates an account, we want that data not only to be stored inside a Caspio database, but we also want it to be received inside SharpSpring. So how do we get these two systems to communicate? We do so using Zapier. Zapier is a platform that lets you connect your Caspio account to over 1,000 apps using automated workflows. In order for this integration to work, you will need a Caspio account to build your database applications. If you'd like to see examples of the type of apps you can develop using Caspio, then go under Solutions and click on App Templates. Here you'll find a library of applications that you can demo and request to be uploaded to your Caspio account. You'll also need a Zapier account, and you'll obviously need a SharpSpring account for all of your marketing automation needs. Once your application is created and published using Caspio, the next logical step is to log into your Zapier account and very simply make a zap so that we can allow these two systems to communicate. And to do that, click on the button here at the top. Next thing that you want to do is give your zap a name. So come over here to the left and just use any naming convention that you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and call my zap Caspio Membership Directory Campaign. Then what you want to do is find the trigger application. Now in this use case, we're going to use Caspio. So find it and select it. So what's going to trigger this action? So in this case, we're going to actually trigger the action when a new record is created inside Caspio. So select this radio button and then save and continue. On this screen, what you want to do is you want to allow Zapier to gain access to your Caspio account in order to retrieve the table and be able to pull the data from Caspio and send the data to SharpSpring. If you haven't connected, it's very easy. All you need to do is click on this button here to connect an account. The pop-up window will give you some instructions on how to connect, and it's a very, very easy process. All you need to do is find the Caspio subdomain URL and paste that URL in this field, and when you're done, click on Yes and Continue, and that's going to allow you to connect. Now, I've already done it, so let's go ahead and save and continue. So now that we have given Zapier access to Caspio, what you're going to notice when I click on this drop-down I will be able to see the list of all the tables that are inside my Caspio account. So find a table that's storing all of that information. In my example, I have my members table, and I used a prefix SMD. So once you find that table, select it, and click Continue to move on. Here, all you need to do is click on Fetch and Continue. Zapier is going to find some sample data inside your table. So let's go ahead and click that and move on. Once the test is successful, you're going to click continue once again. And now we need to set up the action. And in this case, we want that to be SharpSpring. So let's find that and select it. What kind of action do we want SharpSpring to perform? Well, we want them to create a new lead inside SharpSpring. So when a new member signs up using the Caspio application, we want that data to be turned into a new lead inside SharpSpring. So select the second radio button and move on. So just how we gave Zapier access to Caspio, we now need to give Zapier access to SharpSpring. So it's a very similar process. All you need to do is click on this button, and the pop-up window will give you instructions on how you can connect these two accounts. If you follow this link, you're going to go directly to SharpSpring, and they're going to generate both the account ID and the secret key. And all you need to do is copy both of those numbers and paste them inside these two fields. And when you're done, simply click on Yes and Continue. I'm already connected, so let's save and continue. On this screen, what you need to do now is map out the fields from your Caspio table to the fields given by SharpSpring. The only required field here is the email field. So click on this button here to the right. And when you click on that button, you're going to see the list of all of your Caspio table fields. So find the email field and select it. And you're going to see how the Caspio field has been mapped out with the SharpSpring field, and both of them are email fields. Now, all the other fields are optional, but if you are collecting first name, last name, or maybe even company name, I do recommend that you map out those fields as well. So if you're collecting first name, and in this case I am, find that field and select it. Let's do the same thing with last name. 
And once you have mapped out all of your fields, go all the way to the bottom and click on continue. And on this screen, you have the ability now to send some test data to SharpSpring just to verify that the integration works correctly. I'm going to go ahead and bypass this and skip the test. And very simply click on finish to save my changes. And there's one step left. All you need to do now is turn the zap on. And now your zap is working. What's really cool about this integration is once you submit the Caspio form now, this data will be stored inside your Caspio database. But once the form is submitted, that data will simultaneously populate inside your SharpSpring account as well. And from here, using SharpSpring automation tools, you can do email campaigns, and you can do a lot more to convert these now leads into sales by using a lot of their other automation tools. So that is the benefit of using the Caspio system in conjunction with SharpSpring. This concludes the video on how to connect Caspio to SharpSpring. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. For additional videos on how to use Caspio, keep it right here on our YouTube channel. For written articles and tutorials, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio.